This is the turbo that we got from Comp Turbo, and it's gonna take a lot of fabricating to get the exhaust system built out so we can get this thing bolted onto the V8 ski. Mm. But it will look really cool when it's all mounted up on there. You're gonna have to go inside while I'm cutting and welding. Oh, no. But I promise I'll show you when it's all done, okay? Quick, simple weld up of my 90 degree to the V-band connectors. I'm not a pro fabricator, my welds don't look the best. But I'm building what I want, and I'm not going to let the potential criticism stop me. thing. Oh man, I call that the taking forever process. Also gotta get a pipe.
gonna run this through these. Sweet. Why that's important? Just cleans up all the insides of the lads. This is just super loosely mounted on there. Super loose. But dang, does it feel good. That looks great. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's not really tightened down. I'm like, what's rattling, what's rattling? As the turbo that's not tightened down at all. Just finger loose bolts to keep it from falling off. Of course, this housing will be rotated to go wherever our intercooler is. The in is going to have to take probably a 90 degree and come up to about here. The exhaust will probably be going a 90 degree and then straight out the back. So something like this, and then out the back of the ski. Turbo's all mounted up and it looks cool, but I am going to be installing the wastegates as well in just a couple minutes, so stick around, it's gonna be sick. Decided I just wanna see inside for fun. I just thought it was cool, so. There's a few different options, so for non-intercooled, we would just go right to the throttle body. And if we're intercooled, I'm imagining our intercooler will be back here, so we'd point this down here and get the one off the intercooler coming up to here. I have got waste gates to install. Wait a minute, am I doing that now? Yeah, no, I'm doing that right now. We got twin M VR 44. Also, off valve. We're gonna run twin waste gates, one for each side and just a single blow off valve for now. Tile is not a sponsor. I wish that they were. If any of you have contact with somebody who works at Tile, let them know that Jet Ski Brothers wanna get their logo on the side of the V8 Jet Ski. I shouldn't give them this much airtime. They're not a sponsored product. Anyway, whatever.
start off the talking part? <laughs> well, it is a fresh new day here and I'm sick today. So very, very ill-timed. Yeah, I'm up against the deadline, so take a bunch of Tylenol, 12 cups of coffee, and a flippin' dream. Let's go. Well, I don't even have the energy to talk right now. We did install this turbo onto the ski, but somehow it's sitting in my head right now. Now a lot of that footage, <laughs> that footage you just watched was highly very condensed. Very condensed from about three to five hours of footage. And this is what I will say about that. There's also a whole lot more footage of doing the fiberglass modifications to the hull so that it will fit on top of the turbo and turbo process. exhaust. Yes, the turbo. You wanna? Yes. Yeah. That's what I thought. So I hope you guys liked the video. A whole lot of effort went into making it, and I have another cool video coming out soon about all the fiberglass modifications to the hull so it will fit over the turbo and the turbo exhaust system. Doing the turbo install and all that fiberglass went hand in hand, so I don't know what the point of me saying that is. He just says oops. The next video will be linked up here when it's ready to go. Should be about a week from now. And also the previous video will be linked on the screen as well. You going back outside? Bye, Bye Mia. Bye. I was like, no, I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying in here. <laughs> There's no way I'm going out there. Bye, dude. <laughs>